So you've got your signal booster all set up, the green light is on, and now you can make calls without fear of dropping them. But how do you tell what your signal booster is actually doing? How much is it boosting your signal? If you've got really terrible signal and now you can make a call, then obviously it's working. But what if your phone just jumps up a bar or two? It's not working properly, right? Well, actually, no. Did you realize that there's no standard for what a signal bar on your phone actually means? Take a look at this test. We've got two phones sitting side by side receiving the exact same amount of signal. On this phone, it shows two bars, but on this phone, it shows four. That's a big difference, even though they're getting the exact same amount of signal. Signal strength is measured in dBm or decibel milliwatts, and it always shows up as a negative number. The closer that number gets to zero, the better your signal strength. You'll never actually reach zero, though. The highest you'll see is about negative 40, which is pretty much perfect signal and five bars on your phone. While a negative 120 is pretty much no signal at all or unusable signal and would show up as no bars or no signal on your phone. The best way to read this is to put your phone into test mode. It's really easy to do. We've got a video showing you how to do that right here. So put your phone into test mode and then do a test with your signal booster on and off. You'll see how much your booster is improving the signal. Keep in mind that phones sometimes will take a while to update, so make sure that you give your phone 30 seconds or so to make sure that the signal's updated. Okay, so you've got your phone in test mode, you flip the booster on, and you see your signal jump from negative 115 to negative 85. That's an increase of 30 dB. That's pretty decent, right? Well, actually, cell phone signal increases logarithmically, so that 30 dB jump actually means your cell phone signal is a thousand times stronger. If you had a 40 dB jump, it would be 10,000 times stronger. So that's a pretty massive improvement. Here are a couple tips when testing your cell phone signal. Like I mentioned earlier, your phone can sometimes take a while to update. Oftentimes, your phone will only display one band when it's actually receiving several. For example, it might only show the signal strength for your LTE up in the top of your phone when it's actually receiving LTE and 3G signal. So the booster might be boosting 3G signal dramatically, but you'll never know because you can't see it on your phone. To check what's really going on with your signal, you can compare the bands on your phone. On an Android device, we recommend a great app called Signal Check Lite. This will allow you to see signal levels for all the bands on your phone. If you want to add a widget, then you'll have to pick up the Pro version. It's a great tool and in our opinion, worth the price. On an iPhone, you'll need to compare the signal levels with and without a booster while your LTE is turned on. Then go into Settings and turn LTE off. Do the same test again with and without your booster. Now what you'll be seeing is a signal reading for your 3G signal. With this knowledge under your belt, now go out and do some tests and see the signal strength and how much it's being boosted. If you've got any questions, feel free to give us a call or leave us a comment. We'd be happy to help you out. And please subscribe to our channel. We have tips like this coming out every week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh,